Hey guys, Kat here, and we are back at it. Today we have a full body dumbbell workout. Every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. All right, let's get warmed up. Roar. All right guys, let's warm up nice and easy. Start with the jumping jacks. Touch the hands to the top, jump the feet out wide. And remember, if you want to, you can always just tap off those feet instead. Just get that body moving. It's been so long. Oh yeah. Keep it going. Let's go for three, two, one, and back lunges. So step leg back, sink down, midfoot to heel on that front leg, and then bring it back. Cause we like to bring it back. Oh yeah. Keep it going. Sink it down. Try to get at least 90 degrees on that front leg. And remember, you can lean forward slightly with that torso. Let's go for two more. Last one. And butt kicks. Kick that booty. Kick that booty. Bring those feet up. I like to bring my hands in back to know I'm bringing my feet up high enough. Otherwise, I tend to go like this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm totally kicking my butt, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep up, guys. Let's go for three, two, one, and have your feet out wide. We're sink down, side to side, getting that mobility. Nice mobility. We are so ready. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go for three, two, one, and shaky, shaky. Let's come down to the ground. From here, you're going to take that left leg and bring that, what is it, calf <laughs> parallel to you, and your other leg is going to come back. From here, you're going to bring it up onto the knees, and then lift up the legs, switch, and the other leg should be parallel to you. You're going to bring it up, switch, press it up, squeeze your butt, switch. This is awesome for mobility. If you need to use your hands, you can. So bring them in back of you to help yourself come up. That's totally okay. Now, if this is something that you're just like, yeah, this is not quite for me, no big deal. Just start off right here and then lunge it forward and then bring it back. So you guys know I'm loving this movement and we're gonna keep adding more and more of it to my workout. So I'm excited and I hope you're excited. Let's go one more and go ahead, hands down to the ground. Let's go into cat camel, cat cow, I always forget. So go ahead, inhale, you're gonna arch that back, open that chest, bring the eyes up to the ceiling, exhale, bring that belly button to the spine, press fingertips, palms to the ground. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, tuck that chin, that chest. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, tuck. Let's go three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. If your lower back is super tight, exhale. You'll probably be feeling this a little bit more. Inhale. One more. Exhale. And go ahead. Little hip circles. Move it around. Move it around. Woo. And reverse that direction. Then we're going to warm up those wrists. So let's go ahead, stay in this tabletop position. You're going to press forward, keeping your palms on the ground, and then bring it back. So only go to where you feel that stretch, not to where you feel pain. So make sure you're not overextending that body. Woo. Let's go one more. All right, now we're going to face it the other way. So fingertips are facing towards you. And you're going to lean back this time. Same thing, only go to where your body is telling you to, not to when there's pain. We're stretching out wrists, getting those forearms ready, because we do like a lot of plank movements and such. So we want to get ready for those. And let's go ahead and sit back, a few wrist circles. And walk forward in a plank. Push those hips back, fingertips, palms to the ground. This is a down dog. Bring it back. Push back, bring it back. Remember, we're just in the warm up. So take your time. If something feels really awesome, you can go ahead and stay there. This is at your own pace. 
And then we'll start to add that timer in once we get into that workout. Let's go two more. Woo! <laughs> Last one, get ready. And go ahead, jump the feet up to those hands. Big inhale, circle those arms up. Exhale, bring it down, bounce it out, crisscross those arms. Almost done with that warm up. Yes. Oh, yes. So fun. Keep going. Three, two, one. Let's finish out with some high knees. Drive those knees up, up, up. Lean back slightly. And remember, you can always change this to marches if that's for you. Cool. Just make sure you don't run into any dumbbells on the ground. Let's go for three, two, one. Shaky, shaky. Get ready. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, let's get started. 10 seconds, we're gonna come back down to the ground just like in the warm up. Grab a dumbbell this time. So, left leg is parallel. Remember, you can stick with the lunges instead if you want to. You're gonna have a dumbbell in hand. Press those hips forward and switch. So, if you're one of the people that needs to have their hands on the ground, go ahead and do that. The farther out you bring out your legs in between, the more challenging it's gonna be on your core. So, find what is best for you. And bring it up. Press it out. Bring it up. Ooh, I'm warm. I love it. Keep it going. Press it up. Squeeze that booty. Ooh. You can hear footsteps. <laughs> I'm at my sister's. This is her basement, so I'm very blessed to be able to work out here until the weather gets warmer. Woo! All right. Next up, we're gonna grab lighter weights, just one. You're gonna have a dump on the left hand, stabilize on the right leg from here. You're gonna sink down into a single leg squat, come up, and then side raise. So, sink it down, come up, and side raise. If you can hear a little baby, that's their little baby, sorry about that. And bring it up. He's adorable though, so sink down, bring it up. So the reason I'm using a little bit lighter weight is because um, for those side raises, I'm not so much one to lift 15 pounds in it. So this is a 10 pounder right now. Ooh, stabilize. If you need to, you can always do a back lunge instead. Stabilize, bring it up, or come up to your tippy toe on the left leg. All right, so. Before we go to the other side, I'm gonna switch weights. I'm gonna go to a 15, so you can go heavier if you want to. Stabilize again on that right leg. From here, you're gonna hinge from the hips, single leg deadlift, come back up. So now, instead of getting mainly the quads and the glutes, we're getting the hamstring and the glutes. You wanna make sure you have a slight bend in that stabilizing leg. Keep your back as flat as possible. and you don't have to touch the ground. So make sure you're not leading with the dumbbell, you're hinging from the hips, and you should feel this stretch right here, and it should start to burn. Especially after using it in the last movement. Keep stabilizing, push those hips back. Ooh. <laughs> Throw a hand out there if you need to. Keep it going, guys. Oh, don't keep going, okay. Now, we're gonna go back to the previous movement. Stabilize on the left leg, have a dumbbell in that right hand. So, single leg squat, single leg squat, bring it up, side raise. Sink it on down, keep that back nice and flat, and side raise. After this, we're gonna get into that cardio, because I know you miss it so much. So much. <laughs> bring it up. Nice job, guys. Sink down, bring it up, and raise it. Now, one side might be a little bit more challenging, and that's totally okay. Take your time with it. Sink down. Whew. And sinky, sinky. Remember, I'd rather have you use no weight at all. 
um, if that helps you to keep good form. So before we switch to cardio, we have that single leg RDL. So, oh sorry, deadlift. Woo. It's not a Romanian deadlift, it's a deadlift. And whoop, see, a little shaky shaky. So if you can't keep balance again, don't beat yourself up. Push those hips back, bring it up, and then just get right back into it when you can. No point in beating yourself up about not getting the rep perfect. Shake it out, and then start again. Woo! Keep it going, guys. And up. Those legs should start to burn. Strength is amazing. It is so much fun. It's not going to make you bulky unless you're eating in a caloric surplus. Woo! Oh, baby. Bring it down. All right, so. We have a dumbbell squat touchdown, so you're going to start with your feet together, we're going to sink down, come up, and then we're going to do a burpee with one hand on a dumbbell. Alright, so start with your feet together, sink down, bring it up, burpee, don't forget the jump at the top, switch, sink down, come up, burpee, and jump, sink down, come up, all the way. Remember, it's okay if you can't go with the dumbbell. Drop it down if that is what works for you. Sit down, come up, and jump. Sink down, Woo. and up, sink it, and bring it up. Remember, push that butt back when you do that squat. Midfoot to heel is where you want to put that weight. All right, next up, what do we have? We have four switch feet, four knee pull skips. So start, dumbbell right here. You're gonna have your feet staggered. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna pull. One, two, three, four. Let me do it again. Oh yeah. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Keep it up, guys. Two, four. One, two, three, four. Finish it. Two, four. Nice job, guys. Two, four. One, two, three, four. We love cardio. One, two, four. Woo! All right, next up. Single leg curl, press and kick. So we're gonna stabilize on the right leg, dumbbell on the left hand. What we're gonna do is stabilize on one leg, curl, press, and kick. Now, if you want to more, be more challenging, curl, press and kick. Back and down. Make sure you control the weight on the way down. Curl, press and kick, back and down. And I find that keeping my arm out to the right helps me to stabilize. Curl, press and kick, back and down. Curl, press and kick, back and down. Whew. Curl, press and kick, back and down. All right, so before we go to the other side, we are going to be going with a single leg RDL. So have your right leg forward, slight tap on the ground with that left, and you're gonna push your hips back, single leg RDL. And then what we're gonna do is bring your left leg up, figure four, and squat. So single leg RDL, push those hips back, back is flat, you don't have to touch the ground. Bring it up, figure four. Uh, this one's this one's a little bit more challenging just because we have that stability you do need a little bit of flexibility right here if the figure four doesn't work for you if your hips aren't open enough or anything you can go ahead and stick with a single leg squat like we did earlier i love this one it's so fun 
and your right leg burns. All right, now we're gonna go back to that curl, press, and kick. Yay, who's excited? We are. So stabilize this time on the left leg, curl, press, and kick, back and down. Curl, press, and kick, back, down. One side might be easier, which is awesome. So keep going with it. Woo. Curl, press and kick, back and down. You already know what move is next. Curl, don't worry, we'll get back to cardio. <laughs> Cause I know you were so worried. <laughs> so worried. Woo. Curl, press and kick, back and down. Finish it out. And down, keep stabilizing. Oh, all right. All right, guys, next up we have that single leg RDL with that figure four. So I don't know about you, but one of my hips is a little bit more flexible, a little bit more mobile than the other. So this one for the figure four is gonna be a little more challenging. Push your hips back, back nice and flat. Come up, stabilize. So you notice my knee's a little bit higher. And that's just where I am right now, but I can tell you, and we're working on it, and that is, it's a lot better than it was. <laughs> so just a reminder, if something is super tight on you, if you're stronger on one side than the other, if you're more mobile on one side than the other, it can be fixed. Unless it's some kind of like, you had some kind of surgery where you can't do that. But if you didn't, it's something you can work on. I know a lot of you saw it on my Instagram with the wheel pose. I was so tight before, but now I can get into a wheel. It's very exciting. So, don't condemn yourself. You can work at it. All right, so next up we have back lunge. Swing with a dumbbell. I'm gonna go back to my 10. It's easier to grab onto this. Here I go with the back lunge. Have the dumbbell the right hand. Right leg forward, swing up, switch. Back lunge and switch. This one's just fun. Use momentum. You gotta keep your core strong to make sure you're stabilized enough for this movement. This is gonna be a nice little leg burner. After all that leg burning, you're welcome. <laughs> keep going. Woo. Oh yeah. We just, we love our dumbbell. It is our best friend in this workout. Okay, next up, I'm gonna stick with this. <laughs> 10 dumbbell high knees. High knees just like in the warm up with a back lunge and twist. So we're gonna alternate legs. One, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Back lunge, twist towards the knee that's in front. Make sure you exhale. Every time you twist. Exhale and twist. Six, nine, ten. Keep it going, guys. Ten. Really drag those knees up. Ten. Keep it up, guys. Finish it. Don't finish it, we're done. Okay, I'm gonna keep with this 10. Have your feet out wider than hip width. Turn your right foot out. From here, try to have heels in line with each other. We're gonna bring the dumbbell here. You're gonna reach and then trace your leg down. If you can touch the ground, awesome. If you can't, that's okay. Bring it back. Bring it up. Stabilize that shoulder. If you can't reach the ground, no big deal. Don't use weight if you can't get this movement down smoothly. Woo! And bring it back. Exhale up. And bring it back. I'm telling you, this move used to be really super uncomfortable for me. Now it's not so bad. 
So work on that mobility if you need to. And bring it back. All right. So before we go to the other side, of course, we're going to have our right leg forward. I'm going to switch weights and go to my 15. And we're going to go with a wide row. Just one leg and one arm. So bring it out to the side. Squeeze your back. Squeeze those back muscles. Exhale, pull. You're really pulling it back, thinking about using your back muscles to bring it back. It looks like just arms, but you want to think when you use a pulling motion, we're using that back. We're using those triceps. Rear delts, shoulder area. Woo, keep going. Exhale up, inhale down. Your right leg might start to burn as we're stabilizing it. So if you need to stabilize like on a chair and lean forward, keeping your back flat, you can do that too. After this, we're going back to that triangle pose. Yay! I sounded like Toad from Mario. Wow! All right, have your feet wide and hip width. Turn that left foot out. Try to have your heels in line with each other. Dumbbell right here. Press up. Woo! And bring it down. This side's way more challenging for me because on this side, my um, shoulder and my chest are tighter. So take your time. Woo! And bring it up. Ooh, that one is way more challenging. Up and bring it back. Nice job, guys. Again, if it doesn't feel right, don't do it with the weight. Just go ahead and use body weight. Press up. Bring it back. Oh, baby. This one's so fun. <laughs> Press up. And done. All right. Next up, we're going to go back to those wide rows. So I'm going to go back to the 15, have my left leg forward this time, sink down. And then it'll be back to that beautiful cardio that we love so much. It's so good. And row. Ooh. This is mainly a strength workout with a dash of cardio, but you'll still feel your heart rate come up especially in these movements when we're in that static motion with our legs. They're huge muscle groups, so they require a ton of oxygen to be able to work the way we want them to. Keep your neck nice and neutral. Try not to look at your tummy down like this. <laughs> Sometimes I do that, <laughs> and I catch myself. Keep going, guys. Working that back, rear delts. All right. Dumbbell jumping jacks, I highly recommend using a lighter weight for this one. So I'm going to use my 10, start with your feet together, have the dumbbell right in front of the chest, exhale, every time you press up, I'm like, am I going to hit the ceiling? <laughs> Keep going. Keep pressing up. Nice job, guys. Woo. You can move forward and back if you feel like Adding some more movement to it, if you have room. Here you go. Nice job, guys. Finish it out. Keeping the core strong so we're not hyperextending the spine. Finish it. Okay. Every time I say finish it, we're just done already. <laughs> All right, four dumbbell switch lunges, 10 butt kicks. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Come into a lunge, to your lunge. One, two, three, four butt kicks to cool down. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. 10. Get back to that lunge. Walk them out if you need to. Two, three, four. Eight, five, six, nine, ten. Whew. One, two, three, four. Whew. Three, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, guys. Whew. Finish it. One, two, three. 
Oh, on my butt. <laughs> Six, nine, ten. Okay, next one. Drop the weight if you need to. We don't want to roll on our neck. Okay. <laughs> Most challenging version. Roll back. Stabilize on one leg. Pistol up. Pistol down. If you can't do that, roll back. Stabilize on both feet. If you can't do that, you're going to walk back. Roll, don't roll in the neck. Bring yourself back up. Okay? Make sure you switch sides. As you do that pistol, one side might be more challenging. For me, it's my, ah, my, my usually my left side. Use that momentum. The dumbbell is actually more helpful because it helps you counterbalance your weight to help with that last extra step. Ah, okay. All right, next up guys, go ahead, grab your heavier weight. We have a front curtsy with a side lunge. So start stabilizing on your right leg, chest is forward, here step forward into the side, plant that front foot, bring it up, and then we have a side lunge. Push that butt back and come down. So sink down, again make sure you're not twisting that body. Push your butt back, sink midfoot to heel, back is flat. Stabilize. Woo! <laughs> Sink down. Now remember which leg you're stabilizing on and which leg you're doing that side lunge with. So if you want to, just follow along the same leg I'm doing. Don't be a rebel. Don't do that. <laughs> Sink down. Bring it up. Push that butt back. Come up. Keep going, guys. Sink it. Okay, so you're gonna come down to the ground. Whichever leg you are stabilizing on is gonna be on top. From here, bend that bottom leg. When you look down, you have a straight body line. Side lane lifts. Now, to make this harder, and since this is a dumbbell workout, go ahead and grab a weight if you want to. Yep. <laughs> I'm so mean. <laughs> I'm so mean. Keep going, lift, squeeze. Make sure you squeeze your butt, squeeze with intention. <laughs> Every time you lift up that leg. Nice job, guys. Exhale up, inhale down. That glute, that booty should be on fire. Now, the lower down you put that dumbbell, the more challenging it's gonna be. So if you need it to be easier, move it closer to your hip. Oh my gosh. Oh good. Okay, now, because I mean, before we go to the other side, you're going to bend that leg in front to a 90 degrees. Same thing. Lift. Lift. So if you want to, you can again use weight, squeeze your butt with every pulse, and just tap the ground. Try not to rest that knee on the ground. Oh my god. Ow! Exhale up, inhale down. I actually think it's worse if you stop. Because then you remember what it's like to not feel this burn. Exhale up, inhale down. Drop the weight if you need to. Oof. I'm just using it as a cane. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Ugh. After this, we have that front curtsy again, the side lunge. And we're going to go with the other leg, so we'll stabilize on our left leg Oof. next time around. Oh my gosh. You know how when it feels like forever sometimes? That was a moment. Okay, I'm going back to my heavier weight. Going to the 15. Stabilize on that left leg. Right leg is gonna curtsy in front. So, step it, sink down, come up, whoops. And side lunge, push that butt back, come up. Step, sink it down, stabilize. Step to the side, push your butt back, and come up. That glute. <laughs> Everybody loves booty work. So we only have three moves after this, and it's going to be this, or two moves after this. It'll be the same pulse movements. So stay with me. Just remember that there's an end. <laughs> there's an end to this madness. Push that booty back. Come up. Keep 
going, guys. Sink down. Bring it up. And three, two, done. Okay. Side lane lifts. Side leg, lying lifts. Side line leg lifts. That's it. <laughs> Bend that bottom leg. Goodness gracious. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your butt. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's so good. It's so good. Squeeze. Keep going, guys. Should have brought my timer here. <laughs> it's kind of nice not knowing, though. Just keep going. That's what matters. One reason I don't have a timer in my workouts is just like some people tend to fizzle out the last 10 seconds. I don't want that. You should push to the last 10 seconds. Squeeze. Keep going. Uh, yes. We do this because we want a nice booty. Arr. <laughs> Squeeze. All the way up. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Up. Keep going. And we done. Okay. So bent leg line lifts, guys. It's the last movement. We got this. Okay. Leg at 90 degrees in front. Okay. Sure, why not? Okay. And left. Up. Ooh, baby. Exhale up, inhale down. Try not to use jerky movements as much as possible. Make it as smooth as you can. I know this is hard the last second, but we're almost there. We're gonna cool down after this. Remember, you guys have a few options. You can continue. You can uh, repeat this workout, skip the warm up. Uh, you can go to a different workout. You can watch my newest vlog on 10 things I wish I knew when I started my fitness journey. A lot of good information. Um, and, or you can just cool down with me. Woo! Exhale up, inhale down. Remember, keep going. Girl, baby, stare. And leave. Okay, done. Done. Oh my goodness. I don't know about you, my booty is burning. So, we are gonna cool down. Again, you have those options. If you do, please do like the video before you go. It's great to be back. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, come on down to the ground. Especially with that booty work, let's go ahead and have our feet together. I'm going to bring them towards you. And then what I want you to think of is actively bringing your knees down to the ground. So you're really going to start to feel it in those inner thighs. Breathe here. Try to stay as tall as you can in that spine, keeping your chest as open as possible. If you need to, you can use a wall in back of you and then hold it here or you can press down even more. Just try not, let's not pulse them today. Woo. All right, let's go ahead, bring those knees together. And come down, cradle yourself, ask yourself why, why this burn exists in your butt. And that's what she said, go ahead, bring her left leg down. Woo! <laughs> Keep breathing. You should feel this in that hip flexor on the right side. Go ahead. Open up that hip, bring that knee to the outside of that body. Try to keep both hips on the ground. Breathe. And go ahead, press over. Extend right arm to the right, look over that right shoulder. Nice job, let's bring it back to center. And then switch, left leg. If this is too much, you can go ahead and bend that right knee in, in, <laughs> end of sentence. Sometimes I feel like it sounds like I want to say more and then I'm like, well, it's too late. Now they're just waiting. <laughs> go ahead and bring that knee to the outside. Breathe. And let's cross it over the body, step them up. That left shoulder. Go ahead, bring it back to center. And down. Big inhale, bring those arms overhead. Exhale, shoot up towards those feet. Grab the feet if you can. If you can't, no big deal. Try to grab the ankles or the knees. Just try to lead with your heart rather than your head. So you keep that chest nice and wide and open. And we get that beautiful stretch in our calves and our hamstrings. With every inhale, think about growing tall. 
every exhale from the wall or just a little bit more. And go ahead and bring it back. Let's work on the hips a little bit more and wrap our feet around, bring the big toes together. And we're going to sit your hips back, walk your hands forward, and relax the neck. Walk your hands back to the knees, bring the knees together, curl the toes underneath and push your hips back. And this is your cool down, so if you want to stay in an area a little bit longer, you totally can. And raise it here, relax the neck, bend that right knee slightly, walk your hands over to the left side, keep relaxing your neck. If you can't reach the ground, no big deal, just turn and grab onto the cap. Go ahead and switch. Switch here, switch, switch here. back to center. We're going to slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let your neck be the last thing to come up. And once you're up here, roll up the shoulders. Oof. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we're almost there. Clasp the hands in back, pull down, drop that neck over to the right. Breathe. Bring it back to center, almost the left. Shake, shake it. One more, guys. Clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done for today. Yay! We did it. You guys did it. We completed our crazy, awesome welcome back dumbbell workout. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please do like the video before you go. Share it with your friends, family on Facebook, Twitter, etc. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Kat Moosney Fitness. I post a lot more about mental health. I post a lot of just fun stuff. I answer your Q&A questions on my stories too. So look out for those. I love answering those. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you so much for commenting and everything like that. And let me know down below what your favorite move was today. And I will see you guys in two weeks. All right, see you soon. Roar.